I'm Sarah Bruce and welcome to EHI TV. Last week we finally saw the release of Apple's iPad in the UK. Joining me now is Shane Tickell, the Chief Executive of IMS Maxims, who are launching a new healthcare application for the product. First, thank you for coming on the show today, Shane. Before we move on to the specifics around the application that you've developed, let's talk about the application of the iPad in healthcare. Do you really think it has a future? Yes, I do. And I think the single biggest challenge we've got in modern electronic patient records is accessibility. A typical example of awards in the country today, and one that I was at recently, 30 beds, five different rooms, 10 staff, and, and one PC on a desk. So it's around accessibility of the patient record. If we're really going to make a difference and move away from paper-based systems, we have to provide access. And I think that the iPad provides a, a, an additional dimension to some of the ones we've already got. So we've had PCs around for a while, we've had PCs that, that are uh, available on walls that fold away, and we've had computers on wheels. And they're all obviously successful to a relative point. But I think with the iPad, we've now got an opportunity that can really take the, the patient information at a relative cost and with security uh, to the clinical setting, right at the point of care where it's needed most. So, yeah, I really do see there's a great opportunity for this type of device. So how would you say the iPad actually differs to the products that are already out there? For example, the Toughbook, the computers on wheels, yeah. and even laptops that are on the walls? Yeah, I mean, I think laptops... Uh, unless you've got somewhere to stand them, are quite difficult to carry around. There are also uh, areas where bacteria can hibernate, so th there is a risk associated with them. Um, computers and wheels, we, we hear that they sometimes get caught in IV stands and things like that, but relatively successful. Um, some of the other devices that have been around, some of them are quite heavy, um, and sometimes the screen size as well makes it difficult to put usable type of information uh, via the software onto that sort of device. I think with the iPad, it is light. I think there are a number of things we've got to test with it, but uh, it's, it, it provides the potential to be relatively easy to use. Um, so it's light. We'll have to test how safe it is as regards harboring bacteria and things like that, and how robust it is. Will it be dropped? Um, there are devices that you can put around it that, that, that can protect it a bit more, um, but I think all these things probably need to be tested. One of the key things that people are likely to ask is that we've obviously had computers and laptops on the wards, but some people are only just getting used to them. How do you think people that aren't necessarily tech savvy are going to get on with the iPad? Well, I think the iPad and its technology and, and using some of the frames and formats in which you can build software can actually make it very easy. I think we can actually make software easier than, than some of that that's available today. And we've done this with our, uh, our new Maxims bedside product. And we've just taken really basic things, demographics, looking through diagnosis, looking through recent results, the operations that are going to be there, and actually present it in quite a simple format. And to be honest, I think it's, it's relatively easy to move from paper into this type of technology. People of uh, something like 70% of the country now is using iPhones, and they're fairly familiar with some of those types of applications. So this is a, it, it's a broader screen, it's, uh, it's quite easy to design, uh, easy to use screens and functionality. So I think it's, again, got great potential to actually make it easier to use electronic patient records for people who are new to technology. So you've just mentioned the app that you've developed. Tell me a little bit more about the app itself. Well, we've started with Maxim's Bedside to try and get some of the most critical information uh, for people to start to adopt it and to try to make it easy to use an electronic patient record. Um, so our application, you can list the patients, it can be available to, to clinicians, and de depending on your um, access right, it depends on the sort of information that you can see. So we can see quite easily that if we pick a patient, and we can pick up the basic demographics, we can verify through the picture who the patient is, we can see their information fairly easily, and we can drill down into the clinical details. In a fairly rapid way, we can have a look at the diagnosis in some detail, and we can also then look at any alerts, any allergies that the patient has, so we can see uh, if this patient's gonna to react to certain things and then we can record vital signs. So this is very much the early stage of, of rolling out the application uh, that we already have uh, in, in many settings, but rolling it out in a, in a different view. And as I said, making it easy for people to understand using, using standard formats that people are starting to get familiar with with the iPhone. And obviously you're launching this application today. How are you actually marketing, marketing it to the trust and how do you expect them to build sort of a business case around the iPad? Sure. Um, firstly, we're working with our existing clients and some of our new clients have shown an interest in this. And really what we need to then to do is validate it and make sure that the screens that we're designing are functionally usable. And that's a skill set that, that IMS is well known for. 
um, it's not about being necessarily clever with the software, it's about making it really usable so that you're not adding lots of screens and lots of finger strokes or keystrokes. Um, and we, when we've got that more validated, we hope that it will generate a lot more interest. Um, and this is just one additional dimension as to how to use an electronic patient record. We've got electronic patient records in use in many environments in the UK and in Ireland. Um, so this is just an additional one. So once we start to get people familiar and using this sort of technology, very aware that particularly the NHS talks to its neighbours. And if they see how easy it is to use, they're very confident that interest will grow. Okay, thanks very much, Les. Thank you.